It is everything I was expecting. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm not happy. You're not happy? No, I'm not happy. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is nine o'clock in the morning. And why does it matter that it's nine o'clock in the morning? Well, because I have another shipment. Remember yesterday we opened up the green anaconda. I absolutely am in love with that animal. And I was so excited to get in this morning just to take a look at her and say hi to her. Well, today I have the second part of the shipment coming from Kevin McCurley from Nerd and I couldn't be more excited. So it's due here before 10.30 this morning, but I'm not exactly sure when, but regardless, I hope this start of your day is absolutely amazing. It's gonna be incredible for me because I get my second snake today and I cannot wait to share with you guys what it is. A couple people actually commented down below yesterday and told me they knew what it was because I think Kevin let the cat out of the bag. Regardless, I'll put all of Kevin's links down in the description, his Instagram, his YouTube channel. He is a great guy and has some amazing Snakes, one of the greatest collections of snakes, I think, in the entire world. So he's amazing. So anyway, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a long wait. Let's hope the FedEx guy gets here early. Uh, what do you say we get this day started in the meantime? It's now 9.30. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning. Why is it when you're really patiently awaiting for something that you're super excited about, time seems to just tick by so slowly. Regardless, I'm getting a chance to handle my new little green anaconda and just making my rounds to my animals, uh, making sure everything's okay, getting all the work kind of set up for the day, uh, but that package is on my mind. Uh, I can't wait for it to get here. Again, it should be here within the next 15, 20 minutes. I mean, guaranteed by 10.30. So, uh, uh, oh, I wanted to get here. So, isn't she a gorgeous little animal? Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh my God, guys, it's here. It is actually here. I am so excited, oh my gosh. It's like, you know, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I tell you what, it's so exciting. Two days in a row. What do you say we go get the package and open it up? All right, guys, so here is my box. Shipment number two from Kevin McCurley and I couldn't be more excited. Now let me just explain. I said a little bit about it yesterday that I'm kind of getting more pet animals, but also I'm getting what I consider animal ambassadors, right? So I'm always trying to get people excited about, you know, what I love, which of course is reptiles and snakes and all animals for that matter. So I want those animals that are gonna be kind of like really attention grabbing, right? When I have an animal like Lemonade or Sunrise or RJ or Bowser, or you know, the list goes on, Bella and, uh, and now my anaconda. I mean, these are things that people are gonna go, oh my God, they're gonna wanna know more about them, right? When I have a big, you know, 12 or 15 foot green anaconda, everyone knows what an anaconda is. So when people see these animals, they're gonna be curious and they're gonna wanna learn more and that opens up the opportunity to educate, which will turn their opinions to something. So that's what I'm always thinking. So that's why I've been getting these animals is not only do I think they'll be amazing for a zoo eventually, but also when I'm going out with outreach, whether it's on YouTube or when I'm actually going out to a school or some type of event, and I can bring these animals, people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, what is that? Tell me more. Even if they're afraid, they're gonna see an animal and they're gonna wanna know more, and that's why I'm doing it. Not to mention, it gives me a great excuse because I really love these animals <laughs> anyway. So anyways, what do you say we just get right to it and open up this box? There we go. All right, so. All right, so uh, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. You know, it's kind of a bummer because after I get this, it might be a while before I get another really cool new animal. So I've kind of spoiled myself a little bit, but uh, oh, oh my gosh, it is everything I was expecting. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait till this starts to get bigger. It's gonna be so amazing. And that's right, guys, if you didn't guess it, it is a cow reticulated python. And you can just tell how unbelievably amazing. That's right, it's kind of like a leucistic, a solid white snake, but take a look at those eyes too. I mean, those eyes are absolutely crazy looking. Now what's interesting about the cows is they're born white, but they eventually get a lot of pattern to them. This would be an example of a cow that has mature patterning. So with this one right here, as well as this one, 
Anyways, the point is, is that as they get bigger, they get more spotting on them. This one, uh, you never know what it's gonna look like. But of course, the cowrie ticks stay a little bit smaller, and uh, they'll typically max out at maybe, you know, 12 foot at the most. But this is an animal that every time I've been around them, whether it's been out at Kevin's place or out on the West Coast, when I've seen them and I've showed them to people, people freak out. Or when I post a picture of me with a cowrie tick, it gets a tremendous amount of attention, as well as videos, too. So I know that when this little girl here, which by the way, she is a girl, gets larger and gets her adult colors, it's really going to be kind of like a pie ball python, right? And you can see a little bit of the freckling like in the animal here and there. And again, it's going to continue to increase. But wow, what an amazing snake that is, right? I mean, holy cow. And again, since the first time I saw Kevin produce the first cow and just was blown away by it, I've always wanted one. But up until recently, I didn't want to breed big snakes, so it was hard for me to just justify spending the money on a snake that I was never going to really get anything back from as far as money goes, right? Because they were pretty expensive and they still are pretty expensive. But now I can kind of justify from an educational standpoint that I can spend this for a couple reasons. Again, you know, for videos as well as education, as well as if I eventually do a zoo. Because if you walk into a reptile zoo and you see these amazing animals that you wouldn't see at, say, your local zoo, that's really gonna bring a lot of attention to reptiles and get people to keep coming in. So now I have another motive. And again, it's a little bit of an excuse just to own animals that I've always wanted. So regardless, this is the cow here. And again, Eric and Mary love reticulated pythons as well as Kelsey. Lori, maybe not so much. So we'll go ahead and get Mary and Kelsey's opinion of this beautiful snake right here. Uh, and then I guess I'm gonna have to show Lori because I didn't ask permission for this one either. So the anaconda went over okay she was a little upset let's hope she's okay with this reticulated python I don't know so uh, we'll go ahead and do that uh, there you have it a cowrie tick how awesome is that okay so as excited as I was about the cowrie tick uh, I know Mary and Eric keep reticulated pythons and I know Kelsey loves Titan so what do you guys think she's so beautiful I love her <laughs> isn't she crazy she's adorable uh, is she gonna get more spots as she gets bigger yeah so what happens guys is you can see that a cow is basically a white snake with a couple little freckles as babies and then as they get older every shed they start to get more and more spots you never know how much spots they are gonna get the whole idea of course is like the Holstein cows you know they're white and black and that's what this is and this is actually a golden child cow and I think there's some other genetics in it too but Kevin at nerd who sent it to me didn't tell me what the genetics are so anyway she is just awesome so uh, she is amazing huh guys adorable She's gorgeous I know so we have a we have a little bit of a dilemma though what are we gonna name her oh oh, oh. Perdita, like after like the one dog from 101 Dalmatians, because Dalmatians start out white as babies and they get spots as they grow. Moo moo. Oh. <laughs> moo moo. All right, guys, I obviously need a favor from you guys. Uh, go ahead down in the comment. Let me know what you think about this beautiful cow reticulated python, what its name should be. Should it be Perdita or Moo Moo or what do you guys think? Uh, and one of the things that's really cool about the cowrie ticks is that they don't get that big. And of course, the golden trials don't get that big either. They stay like maybe 10 to 12 footish. Same thing with the cows and for whatever reason, cows are just really tame reticulated pythons. I don't know why, but genetically, they're just super docile, so we are gonna have a great time with this girl, and she's gonna be super, super docile, and she is certainly gonna be an animal that we're gonna be able to take around kids and really educate them about animals, so I couldn't be more excited, and I know these guys to take care of her every day, and uh, <laughs> they are super excited too. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. There you guys have it, the cowrie tick. Go ahead and let me know what I should name her. All right, so unlike the anaconda, I think I'm gonna learn from my mistakes and go tell Lori something right now. Hey, Lori, I gotta show you, I did get another snake today. Another snake? Yeah, another snake. It was actually, theoretically, it was part of the anaconda deal. So I was getting it with the anaconda, but I had it shipped separately because I wanted to open both of them up and be really excited about them. So, uh, if you interested in taking a look and see what I got? You'll like this one. <laughs> Fine. Heading downstairs. Okay, you ready for this? You're gonna be excited. Bam! It's a little cowrie tick. Look at it, here, hold it. 
I don't want to get bit. No, these are tame. Oh, really? No, baby retics are tame. These are super tame. Look at, isn't that cool? These are the ones that get like, as they get older, they get all that like cow look to them. They get all the freckling on them and stuff like that. Isn't that thing cool? They're not born with it? No, they're born with just a couple little freckles on them. And then as they shed, they get more and more. Every shed, they get more and more. So what do you think? I'm not happy. You're not happy? No, I'm not happy. I believe I specifically said no more retics. No, but you said you said that uh, if I got another retic, I'd have to get rid of a retic. I'm pretty sure I said no more retics. I think that I'm pretty sure that you said. I think guys in the comments is didn't in a vlog in the past she say uh, that I could yeah, get no another. Winking. No <laughs> winking, and I really don't <laughs> care what they say because I know what I said. And it's whatever. cute though, isn't it? Look at how cute that thing is. Whoa! Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, it's real cute. Oh, 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 oh no. it doesn't bite. Okay, so it just needs to be handled a little more. It'll get super tame with time, trust me. I'm done. <laughs> I, I think that went well. I think it went good. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Whoa! It's okay. Oh my gosh. I think I'll be totally honest with you guys. It's super, super tame when you're handling it. I think it doesn't like the camera. I think that the camera has a little fuzzy thing on top, and I think that's what's freaking it out. So uh, I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think Lori went, I think it went pretty well with Lori. All right, so let me explain the genetics behind this amazing animal, because this is very similar to say like the super stripe stuff in ball pythons or highways or pumas. This is what they would call an allelic trait, which basically just means you need two different mutations in order to make something like this. Ooh. Got a little strikey on me there. Typically cows are really tame. It just needs to be handled a little bit. But this is actually a breeding between a orange ghost stripe, which is a recessive mutation, and a phantom, which is a dominant mutation. Now the orange ghost stripe is really brightly colored and has some striping. The phantom also has some striping and looks pretty similar to a orange ghost stripe, but it's a little bit more faded looking and not quite as bright. But what's interesting to me is that you need an orange ghost stripe which is recessive and then a phantom which is dominant in order to get this allelic animal which is a cow which is just unusual because in all the ball python allelic stuff it's either two dominants or two co-dominants or something like that in order to have a recessive in there is kind of goofy and as a matter of fact you can even have a head orange ghost stripe and breed it to a phantom and produce cows which is really weird so you only need one single version of the orange ghost stripe the heterozygous version or the homozygous which would be the orange ghost strike and you can produce these cow animals. Just what a weird genetic thing, right? But anyways, I just wanted to explain that to you. Uh, regardless, this girl is so amazing. I love her to death. And I'm not worried at all about her being mean. That was just a defensive bite. It's just the first time she saw the camera. So she's a little camera shy. She is just a gorgeous and beautiful animal. And I can't wait for her to be a huge part of my educational outreach for the next couple of decades. So there it is, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down today. What an amazing couple days to get the anaconda and to get the retic and quite Frankly, I mean, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I am super, super lucky. I mean, of course, Lori isn't over thrilled with my decisions, but you know, she's been supporting me for you know 28 years of doing this. And and although every now and then I probably step over the bounds a little bit, it is super important to have someone that's as supportive as Lori is. And I am so lucky to have her. So thank you, Lori. And I do apologize for not telling you about the anaconda. I did tell you about the cow retic though just after I got it. Regardless, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys mean the world to me. I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors? Let's get this video to say four or 5,000 likes. Make sure to hit that post notification and turn it on. Be kind to somebody. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow.